This is sort of crazy. We gotta get this out on the Twitter sphere, Jordan, because he's currently ranked seventh, Dalton Kincaid, at tight end over on Fantasy Pros. That's a serious value, in my opinion, based on what we just talked about, the connection, the fact that he might be the number one pass up. Like I was like, there's 241 targets here to make up for. Um, also, interesting note, Sam Laporta, huh. He's sitting there at number one over Travis Kelsey right now. So the tight end position looking especially loaded this year. And I thought that was awesome. Hamilton, you dug that up. Sam Laporta, huh? Would you take Sam Laporta over Travis? I would I would think, I don't know. Like Travis Kelsey all of a sudden is going to be a value. I would never reach him in any draft I've ever been in. Yeah, I mean, Laporta did outscore Kelsey last year if you look at it. But we know Kelsey had other things going on with the injury. And, you know, the Chiefs had some hiccups offensively. It's hard to look at what he did during that playoff run and how motivated they are to get that three-peat and think anybody's going to be ahead of him this year. It's a, it's hard for me to get that. As great as Laporta is, I love Laporta. It's hard to put anybody above Travis Kelsey for me right now. I give, like, the cute connection and chemistry and all of that about Dalton Kincaid. And he's obviously the best value on the board. Um, I would take him... I mean, you just have to, the, the way you're going to have to reach, even though it's loaded, I guess maybe these guys will fall. Mark Andrews is yeah. always great, but I do think likely is going to play his way into that. There's so many mouths to feed. So as far as That's volume, true. like, how can you not go um, for this cat? Trey McBride is my, my pick. You know that. I want Trey McBride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we hyped him up so much. He's going fifth. On yeah. fantasy, like we clearly gave him the up and Adams <laughs> bump because I was obsessed with him, thinking um, that's going to happen, and he's and he's going to get better, and he's going to develop chemistry uh, with with Kyler. So I kind of feel like I'd still want Trey, um, but Kincaid would be a good pick. Is there something about his game that you like? It's the way he plays the game that you can sort of highlight for me from like more of a football perspective. He- He's just he's really smooth as a route runner, and I love that they can move him out into the slot. He doesn't just have to play a tight end because they still do use uh, Dawson Knox as well. Um, but with Kincaid's versatility, they can have Knox in there at the traditional tight end and and still go with more of a spread set because he can get out in the slot. Um, obviously, really sure handed too, as he showed with that that reception percentage. And it is like hearing him talk about Josh in that clip that you showed mm-hmm. um, and how Josh will throw it no matter where you are, if you're open or not. And, like, the fact that he still caught 80% of his targets Mm -hmm. with as wild as Josh Allen plays, I think that says a lot, too. So I think, um, you know, it was a solid rookie year for him. I really do think, like, we could see a 1,000-yard season out of Dalton. 